Mark, yes. what was your first reaction when you found out what your part on episode seven would actually be? Did you think it was funny? Were you insulted? No, no, I wasn't insulted. I thought it was a really uh, a great surprise, but I don't think they prepared me correctly. You know, in other words, you know, I went to training and, you know, I lost all this weight and did all these things. And I thought, I must be doing something physical if they're sending me to the gym twice a week uh, and torturing me physically. But uh, I think they could have prepared me a little better. It reminds me of the story of the guy that goes on vacation. And he has his friend watch his house, see? And the guy goes away and he comes back and asks his friend, it's all about preparing you, right, for, for the fact that, well, it's going to happen. The guy goes on vacation, he comes back and he says to his friend, so how did it go? And his friend says, well, your cat's dead. And the guy said, what? My cat's dead? Oh, my God, that's terrible. And why did you tell me like that? He said, well, the friend says, well, how did you want me to tell you? He said, well, you could have prepared me a little bit. You know, you could have said that your cat was playing on the roof and... You could say he saw a bird and he scampered across the roof and he took a misstep and he fell to the ground and unfortunately he didn't make it. Something like that. My friend says, okay. And the guy says, any other news? And his friend says, well, your mother was playing on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> now, I tell that because it's funny because it's about cats dying. But beyond that, it's about preparing you, about saying, oh, by the way, you know all that workout where you lost all the weight? You're going to have to turn and remove your hood. I said, oh, I got to lie down for a minute. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm a big fan of Michael Arndt. Were there any story ideas from him that you liked that didn't make it into the final film? I didn't get to read Michael's script. I'd love to. Oh. But I did go up to Northern California, and the artists were saying, oh, I've been drawing you for a year. And you saw all this conceptual art where Art Luke's, you know, in scuba gear with, uh, you know, with uh, Daisy's character. What's her name? Ray. Ray. Uh, <laughs> I, listen, Wait. you guys, I haven't seen it in a long time. Luke Skywalker has vanished. I said, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> I'm reading, reading. I'm making notes. Every time everyone says, you know, Skywalker must be stopped, page 34. <laughs> the sword of Skywalker is powerful, page 77. So I have this long list. And, you know, I'll tell you where I thought I came in. In the forest, when the, the lightsaber goes like this and flies off. I said, oh, what a great entrance. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Ray caught it? She hasn't even been to take up of her training! <laughs> What's the deal? I know, everyone said... <laughs> you, you didn't finish your training either, so you have no room to talk. I was a, you know, a Jedi school dropout. But uh, I had to get back to my friends. That was my excuse. Look, what does Luke know? Can he feel that Han Solo's in danger? All those things, see? I said, even if you don't, if you don't plan to tell the audience, I have to know for myself. I made up a whole backstory of what happened between getting my medal, and yes, I agree, the Wookiee should have gotten one too. But, uh, but you're right, I said, because if you don't tell the audience, it's not about me anymore. It's really not my story. It's the story of Ray and Finn and Poe and all of them, which is the way it should be. But um, uh, you'll find out more. Uh, I don't think anyone will ever say, that's exactly what I wanted. And I better be careful, by the way, because I I, for seven, I said, in front of a crowd like you, I said, no matter what we do, there, you know, it's, it's going to be... Uh, we can't please everyone. The build-up and, and John Williams' music. And, you know, I thought it worked very well. In fact, I, I want to do movies now where I don't do anything. I don't talk. <laughs> I get second billing. And, you know, 
I'm in the movie less than 30 seconds. Less is more. And so I'm reading, 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 reading. Where is Luke? Where is Luke? Everybody's talking about me. It's the most elaborate entrance in the history of show business. And then it's over. You show up, turn around, pull down your hood. You don't even know what's, what, you know, it, it's really literally a cliffhanger. That's what I love, the visual pun of him standing on a cliff. Did you get that? Subtle. And, uh, and someone said to me, is that a gravestone next year? You remember that question? I don't know. It looked like a rock to me.